Hi, this is Victor from Victor EDA. I'm the creator of EP Wave, and today we're going to be introducing EP Wave, which is a waveform viewer, and it is the first browser-based waveform viewer, which means all of the waveform viewing is done completely in your web browser. Here in this example, I'm running Firefox. Okay, so let's start. Um, when you open up EP Wave, and um, here's the homepage link up here you're not logged in and what you can do is you can click around there's a default wave that comes up and you can look at some of the examples so I'm gonna bring up an example from open cores and this is your basic uh, waveform viewer when you click um, the marker centers at the nearest edge and on the left over here you see the uh, the values corresponding to the marker so for example, you see A to F here and it's A to F up here. And if the value is too long, you can mouse over it and it'll come up. Also you see the signals. And you don't see the full hierarchy here. In order to see the full hierarchy, if you click a signal, the full hierarchy shows up here. Or you can mouse over and the full hierarchy will show up. Uh, along with the signals, you could move them around. You could delete them and you can bring in more signals if if more signals are loaded so you can grab some signals and you can see we do have uh, we do have some additional signals here that aren't loaded so let's grab a couple uh, you can double click to grab a signal you can select a few of them and say append selected this is a multi-select window or you can just click all append all and it'll append all of the signals in this right window over here uh, just like that um, now, a few other things you can do. Uh, you can zoom in. As you can see, I'm zooming in. You can move right and left, and this just moves through the waves. And my marker stays where I set it, so if I click uh, this button over here, I go back to the marker. You can zoom out 100% just to see that the EP Wave can handle quite a bit of data. And then finally, you can change the radix from hex to binary. Uh, so if you want to see a, a bunch of your signals, just do that. And you know sometimes it's too long, so you might need to mouse over uh, in order to see to view all of them. Okay, so this is the basic browsing. Now let's go into the mo interest, most interesting stuff: is how do you actually load waves? You know, how do you load your designs, and how do you share uh, your waves with others? So I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to use my Google account. Okay, I'm logged in. And uh, the first usage model is to use EP Wave with EDA Playground. Now, EP Wave, EP stands for EDA Playground. So, EP Wave is part of the ED, EDA Playground tool suite. So, let me uh, give you an example. Let's go back uh, to EDA Playground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an example. I'm going to I'm going to run it. And I'm going to look at the waves in EP Wave. Uh, now, now, in order to dump waves, you need something like the following. And uh, the important thing here is dump vars. Dump vars det determines how many signals you dump. So you can control this. One is typically one level of hierarchy. Two is two, etc. If you specify zero, that's going to be all levels of hierarchy. So I'm going to click this Open EP Wave After Run button. I'm going to run the simulation using using Curse Verilog. And after the simulation runs we will open up um, the waves. Now in this case I had the EP wave open in another window so I'm gonna close that so that it opens up in this window and I'm gonna run it again. Okay now it opens up. Now in this case you don't see any signals by default. If there is uh, 10 or fewer signals they're all gonna be populated but in this case there must be more signals. That's because we dumped all of the hierarchy and we got both the test bench hierarchy and the design hierarchy here, even though the signal names are the same, but they total up to more than 10. So we're just going to append all here. Uh, so this is this is one of the ways to load waves. And uh, there, it provides a link here to where you came from. Now this, if you keep it up to date, if this is your uh, your playground, it's good to have both waves and code. Then you can share both of the links. But uh, if you're opening up someone else's, this may, may or not be, uh, may not be up to date. Um, now, once you bring this up, 
you could set your marker you can zoom in to a certain spot in this case there's not much to zoom in so let's zoom out a little bit and now what you can do is you can specify the name and the description I'll just say my example waves we'll look at time 20 and I'm gonna click save and this is gonna save the waves in a database so now I have a link here and anyone can click on this link and it'll open up looking exactly like this um, another thing you can do is you can go up here you have the same link up here and you can share this on uh, social media as well so let me just for demonstration open up this link in another tab so I'm gonna open up a new tab with this link and as you can see it comes up and it looks exactly the same as before. See these two windows look pretty much the same. Alright so we covered how to get waves uh, from EDA Playground. So there's a couple other ways to load your waves. Um, one way is to load them from a URL. So this is somewhere like on the Dropbox site or Google Drive or something, something publicly accessible and the server will uh, download that WAV file and then bring the waves into your web browser. Um, so let me uh, just, I'm just going to use the uh, open course example because you know it's it's, lo it's loaded from a, my Dropbox account. So there's a, there's a couple, thing to rem couple things to remember with EP Waves. Now um, EP Waves loads the waves into your browser so it can only handle files of certain size um, so it, there's two um, two things that uh, you have to keep in mind. One is that uh, if you go over 2,000 signals, then um, depending how you're loading, either it'll, it'll it'll limit um, it should limit the number of signals you load to 2,000. Another thing to keep in mind is the time. If uh, EPWay finds that there's too much data for it to to load, then it's gonna it's gonna cut off the time. So uh, let's give you an example of the error. So I'm just gonna keep, leave this blank, and I'm gonna leave the time blank as well. So this way, I'm gonna try to load everything in this file. I'm gonna click load. Okay, so you get a couple warnings. It does load data, but you do get a couple warnings. One is that you have more than 2,000 signals, so it only loaded the first 2,000. Um, the other one is it says um, there's too much too much data to parse, and this is where it stops at a certain time. Now, if you don't if if you don't like these warnings, if you are looking for a specific signal, a specific signal group, or signal specific signal time, you can specify these times in here, and I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to well, just just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you that a bunch of stuff was loaded. So this is a kind of a hierarchical view here. The dot dots represent the hierarchy. So as we as as more dots dots are added here, we're moving down the hierarchy. Um, this the the way this is viewed may or may not change in the future. And you can grab some of these. Uh, I bet some of these don't have much data in them because this is this is the complete design. It's a pretty big um, open core design over here. All right, so back to the loading. So let me try something. Um, in the signal filter, you can specify which signals are loaded, and this is accepts uh, regular expressions. So you can try regular expressions here. I'm going to try just loading signals from this level of the hierarchy and see how that goes. And then I'm going to set the time here. Um, let's say five million picoseconds to six million picoseconds. So this will this will grab uh, you know just that window from this file. So I'm going to go ahead and load this. All right, you see it starts at five million and ends at six million. I can hide this and I can see which signals I got. So I did get a bunch of signals. And I can go ahead and bring them all in and basically look look at what's going on at that time. All right, so that's how you load the wave dump from the URL. Uh, the other way to load is to upload a file from your own computer. Um, and the signal filter and the time filters, they work the same way. 
I'm going to go ahead and just for demonstration purposes bring up bring up um, you know a very small dump file. I'm going to open it up. Um, then I have to click load to actually load it. And in this case, this happens sometimes when your time time specified uh, doesn't match because I had I had the time and the signal filter specified from the last time, so it actually didn't load anything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clear that, and I'm going to clear the end time, and I'm going to load again. Um, so now we got we got some data here. We got some signals. We can go ahead and append some. And then we got our waves loaded from our own computer. Okay, this uh, concludes the introduction to EP Wave. Thank you for watching.